Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool and basic Cinema 4D animation in Cinema 4D R20. So firstly guys, I take simple cylinder and change cylinder radius. Guys, radius I take 30 centimeter and height I take 650. Yes. And guys, I go to display and select all shading lines. Guys, I change height segments, increase height segments I take like 70 and rotation segments decrease I take like 7 yes right okay so guys now I take band tool select this one band tool select and make child with cylinder yes and fit to parent check right okay so guys strength increase I take like 360 degree 360 yes simple and now guys second I take twist tool so select this twist and again make child with cylinder yes and fit to parent check yes and angle increase see guys angle I take like 360 yes simple guys see that's my simple shape and now guys I take null object null and select this null actually select this cylinder and make child with null yeah right okay so guys change some setting on hierarchy so select this bed tool and twist tool and unchild and connect with null object yes right see guys that's my hierarchy right okay so guys now select this null object and go to up yes and go on here on mid see guys that's my simple shape and now guys I create rotation animation so select the cylinder this one and I increase frame like guys I take 1000 frame 1000 go on here and guys I go to chord and see guys r dot h rotation increase see I create animation like this simple so go to zero frame and r dot h rotation take zero and guys I go to last frame 1000 frame and r dot h I take 3000 Yes, and press this animation key and play. Okay, so guys, now I change keyframe. So select the cylinder and I go to window and timeline F curve tool, create full and select all keyframe. And see, guys, that's my liner. Click simple. See, guys, that's my graph editor and close. So, guys, go to back and play. Yeah. See guys that's my simple animation okay so guys my first step is complete now I apply hair tool hair object so stop guys select the cylinder select and I go to simulate and add here yes see and play yes guys now I change some setting on here so select this here and I go to guide and root I take poly center yes and guys decrease this length decrease like this I take like 60 yes and go to back and play yeah see guys right okay so guys now I apply poly on this here so I go to generate and type and take circle this one yes and go to back and play okay so guys I change some setting so select this here guide and I go to here also and root and take poly center yes and go to back and play yeah better okay so guys I increase size that's my root 
so this time open this hair material open and guys i go to thickness and see guys that much thickness and change size so root 1 cm i change 10 and tip i take 10 yes right okay so guys i change on curve so i go to 0 0.5 and create keyframe the shortcut command is holding control key and click yes and select this keyframe drag and drop on it like this yeah see guys that's my keyframe see right okay so guys now i increase segment so select this here and go to here this one and segments increase like 25 yes now that's smooth so go to back and play yeah better okay so guys see so fill this fill on here fill this poly so again i go to generate and advance and cap and start cap check and add cap check yes see guys that's my abstract shape right okay see guys that's really beautiful and go to back and play but see guys that's not in the air so that's not looking so good okay so guys now stop this animation and go to back and guys this time go to particle and take wind tool this one and guys go to down and rotate rotate like this 90 degree yes and guys select this wind tool and wind speed increase i take like 30 yes and play see guys that's really much better right okay so guys little bit change more setting so go to here and go to here phrase and check yes that one is much better and go to back and play yeah really good okay so guys close this material and go to again here i increase little bit size so length increase i take like 70 and play yes see guys that's really good right it's really good okay so guys little bit increase wind speed you can increase i take like 35 35 so stop and go to back and play yes that's really good right see guys my animation is finished now guys i already create material i apply material i show you how to apply so go to create and load material and see guys that's my file this one and open that's my material so guys again this time i take cylinder and change radius go on here simple like this and again i take cylinder guys i create path actually stand so select this increase size yes and last one i take flow see guys that's my flow here yes and go to down yeah right so guys apply ground material and that's my material yes and guys that's my material so again yes that's my hair material and white material on cylinder yeah see guys that's my final file and guys go to camera and camera check and guys rotation 0 and 0 and change position also and guys yes see guys that's my 
file right see so closer yes see guys that's my final animation right okay so guys that's it it's my final animation is finished so if you like your video so guys if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you and guys as a same go to render setting and i take render setting all and save take jpeg sequences and go to desktop create new folder and take any file name guys go to nt i take only geometry simple and guys mb occlusion and take global illumination and indirectly catch i take low that's it so close and go to zero frame go to back guys you can also create camera movement animation so render right okay so guys that's it it's my simple and basic hair object material and animation so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you and guys also you can apply sdri image so close this render and take sky and apply skylight and compositing tag and scene by camera uncheck yes and one more time render okay so guys thank you for watching